Hey friend, I'm Brad here with Zero Debt Coach, where we help five and six figure corporate burnouts escape their nightmare by teaching them how to organize and optimize their finances, obliterate their debt, and move on to financial independence by starting and growing an online business. How you doing, Brad? Good to see you, Denzel. Man, I'm excited. We're here at FinCon. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. And I am here. It's my first time here at FinCon. Also, Brad here. We collaborated on my channel not too long ago. And we're going to be collaborating again right here, right now, and again on his channel. So I'm so excited for all the uh, connections we've made so far. What I like to start off with is biggest takeaway for you, Brad. It's only day two. Uh, it's been amazing. I think the biggest takeaway, and we kind of talked about this a little bit last night, has just been how many people I've been following for years that are here, that I've looked up to for, for a long time, and just how approachable they are. And so just having engaging conversations with them and, uh, and just absorbing like a sponge things that we can kind of take back and share with our audiences. So That's awesome. I will just start with a story. Yesterday, I was at a podcaster's meetup. I was talking to a gentleman about starting a podcast, the process, the costs, his fees, his, his, his uh, uh, course, his project, how, how he works. Basically, I was getting trying to get him to sell me something because that's typically how I operate. I, I just like to work with people and I'm straight to the point, hey, I'll hire you if you do a good job, right? But this guy had me thinking totally different. His first question was, who do you currently use for your video editing software? I said, well, I have a guy, been using it for two plus years now, and he's great. He does my video editing, my LinkedIn editing, my Facebook editing, my Instagram editing. And he's like, have you asked him about podcasting yet? I said, no, I didn't, because he does my video editing. And he said, well, um, go to him first, mention podcasting, see if he can actually do this for you. Because the last thing that I want to do is take money out of someone else's pocket. Wow. I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm someone that pays, right? Up front, on time. This guy was basically not shooing me away, but getting me to think differently about the connections I already have, the resources that I already have, and you know, reciprocating and investing more in your existing relationships. You said, worst case scenario, if your guy's not able to do it, reach out to me and maybe I'll consult with him. At that point, I'll charge. I said, great. And he was like, and if you need more additional services, we'll, we'll talk. I'm like, that's been my experience with FinCon so far. It is an incredibly generous and insightful community. I, I, I've, I've experienced that at every, at every turn. So I, I came here really in more of a posture. This is, you know, like you said, both of our first times here. And I didn't really know what to expect. I was experiencing a little bit of imposter syndrome when I, when I landed. I was like, man, I'm, I know all these amazing people are going to be here. You know, who am I? You know, who am I? You know, just that, that, that stuff that if we're honest with ourselves, we all wrestle with to a certain degree. But I've, I've been so happy to have the, all of those fears basically completely allayed by, you know, just the community and, and just the, the nature of the people here. So, yeah, I mean, as we're recording, Jaspreet Singh from Minority Mindset was right next to us. And I just waved. I just went like that. He said, how you doing, man? Nice suit. How's everything going? I said, great. Shoot. I'm like starstruck. I don't even know what to say, you know, <laughs> but it's constantly been like that with high level um, content creators, social media guys, and people who are just starting out that also have a decent following. I mean, there's people walking around here with 50,000 subs, 75,000, 25,000, just roaming around, you know, and very open very transparent with that being said because it's our first time at fincon we're both youtubers brad tell us originally how we we connected yeah. and how you managed to book a youtubers fincon meetup yeah. at your first fincon event yeah. And tell me what that whole turnout looked like. So just yeah. go back and then tell me the result. Yeah. So I think the first the first thing is um, you know you know Denzel who has you know at least four x the number of subscribers that I have actually reached out to me about potentially doing a collaboration and I was just really blown away at you know just his spirit of generosity and uh, and I, obviously I'd been familiar with you know your content. Um, 
from you know just poking around the internet and being on YouTube and being in the personal finance space. And so, you know, when you reached out, I was like, oh, absolutely. I'd love to come on your channel. And so we did that, um, that live stream on a Friday night and, uh, and it was just a great experience. Uh, it gave me a lot of ideas about how to, you know, kind of maybe pivot the way that I'm doing live stream interactions with other content creators. So it's just a really fantastic experience. So definitely appreciate the generosity, uh, and the leadership. And so uh, Denzel is definitely a guy of integrity and, and knows how to uh, really network with people in a, in a really solid way. And so I got you on my on my on my thumbnail there. Nice. <laughs> it's got 463 views, our collab that we did, yeah. you know, and it's it, it was an awesome conversation. Roughly, I'd say 50, 70 plus people or so yeah. were live. Yeah. Mostly were my clients and longtime uh -huh. subscribers. Yeah. So they welcomed them in and. You know, I know you guys are going to welcome Brad in for those that are watching on my channel and hopefully welcome me for those that watch Brad on his channel, you know, and we can keep learning and growing together. So Absolutely. So the next, I think the next thing that was really cool is that, I, you know, I've been meaning to come to FinCon for a couple of years. I had already registered, but I didn't realize there was a FinCon YouTubers Facebook group. And so Denzel turned me on to that and I was like, oh yeah, are you kidding me? I, so I joined it immediately, which leads us to this, this meetup that was this amazing meetup that were probably at least 50 to 60 people at last night. So I got in the Facebook group and started connecting with people and, you know, trying to network and try to, trying to set up meetings here, you know, at, at the, at the event. And I noticed as I went to the, the FinCon schedule that there wasn't a YouTubers meetup set up, at least at that point, not that I saw. So I said, you know what? Let me just make one, you know. And so I, uh, I went into my uh, video, or I went into my uh, Canva account and created, you know, just a, a visual representation of a saying, "Hey, we're," and I reached out to the FinCon people. So anyway, long story short, I kind of put it out there, and people started RSVPing. And I think by the time the event happened last night, there were over 30 people that RSVP'd, but there were probably double that that actually showed up. And it was just an amazing collection of people that are in all stages of the development of the, the growth of their platform. And it was just a phenomenal uh, networking opportunity. Absolutely, I, I can tell you, I was like this. I was on my phone and I was like, Joseph Hogue, 462,000 subscribers. It was like right there, right in front of me. I'm like, this guy, 75,000 subscribers. This guy, 100,000 subscribers. Just all like in a, in a room, you know, it, it was like a bar lounge type of, you know, it was the Hilton lobby area. And it was just like, like these guys are actually going to talk to me like what? And I can get insight almost like a live Q and a, you know, coaching right then and there. So it's just fantastic experience. And just, it's just super cool that our first time that you managed to pull that off like that, that hopefully there's a, an award for that. <laughs> well, Hey, you know, and, and the, the funny thing is, is that, yeah, I think that that really is just, it just attests to, you know, if you see an opportunity, just kind of grabbing it. Like I had the fear in the back of my mind, like, oh, this is my first FinCom. Kind of, I think definitely more so than I was 10 years ago. I'm, I'm kind of, I think I'm in transition, you might say, to becoming more of an introvert. Um, but I think it's just, it's, uh, it just, it, it just speaks to sort of the online community doing an online business, but specifically the FinCon community that, you know, when I reached out to the FinCon leadership, they were like, yes, we, we definitely are, you know, happy that you set this up and tell us more about it. And I had actually set it up to be in the Austin convention center space. And they had to tell me that the space actually closes at a certain time. So we had to have it off site. So, you know, if you're, if, if you're in Denzel's audience or my audience and you're, you know, looking at, you know, Look, looking to set up some kind of online business or some kind of side hustle for extra uh, revenue. I think the, the the main thing to think about is that we all don't have this figured out. The people that are leaders in this space, like we're connecting with them in, in a spirit and they're connecting with us in a spirit of humility and they don't have it all figured out either. We're all just kind of figuring it out together. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, Tim with uh, Video Creators. Uh, Tim Schmoyer, yep. Big, you know, YouTube channel. And he was saying the same thing. He was like, dude, I didn't have it all figured out, but you know, little by little, you put the pieces together, you network, you grow with people, S lead with a giving heart. I promise you're gonna receive tenfold. It's a universal fact, a biblical fact. There's no getting away from it. So, you know, it has been a pleasure uh, uh, working with you once, now yeah. twice, yeah. going on a third time. We're at FinCon, we're having a blast. It's only day two yeah. of a four day long event. 
there's events before the event, after the event, during the event, meetups. I mean, you're going to get overwhelmed. So I think one of the most practical uh, uh, best tips that I've been implementing is the minute after I leave a conversation, I will immediately DM them and say, hey, met at FinCon. You were wearing bomb. You ate this. We had this. We spoke about that. Here's my link. Let's book a phone call. You set the actionable step because majority of the times people get so overwhelmed. They come to these events and they don't have a process or a system to like intake all these new conversations. And that can be mentally draining where you just kind of tap out at a certain point. So for me, I avoid all that. I make the process simple for them, simple for me. And if it's a if it's a match, they're going to they're going to reach out to you, you know, and that can eventually say lead to business or what I like, we were discussing right before we went to our uh, FinCon YouTube meetup, is the whole idea of you connect with someone without trying to sell them because the reality is that they might bring you five other customers, even though they may never become a customer. And so I always have that in the back of my mind. I don't know where my when my next big move is gonna going to occur. So with that being said, my name is Denzel Rodriguez, a personal finance geek. Brad Long with ZeroDebtCoach.com. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Take care, guys.